Hello everyone, this is Ephraim here, and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro on the Checkmate server. Haven't played it all since last time. Still playing Medolce. I love opening Mufio Land Jelly, but I don't like going for it as a turn run play in the slightest. So I'm just gonna Magellan into a, another cat. Actually, another Angeli would be smarter. Because I have the Rota. There's just... Not a good enough... I mean, I could Angeli into Hoop Cake into Gelato, sure. But then I lose my Jelly. I just don't feel like making the big push turn 1 is great because there's no really amazing first turn rank 4 to make. Tiara Masu does nothing turn 1. You wing out something defensive like 101, I guess. But am I just going to win? Am I really just gonna win this? I'm up for that. I didn't expect this to go like this. This is one of those amazing hands, Rota and Instant Fusion. I'm loving it. Finishy that for this. Gelato with such chateau. Hmm. Rota or Instant Fusion. It doesn't matter? I'm gonna end Rota because Instant Fusion gives me like four options later. I'm gonna leave the Hoopcake on board. In case you're wondering what I was doing. I'm gonna bring out another invoke. I'm gonna bring out Invoker to bring out the second Gelato to search the ticket. Same end result. Especially since I'm holding a second hand jelly. It doesn't matter in the slightest. And none of this matters if you can't stop my attack. Um, I am going to summon Teatomasu anyways. Actually, I'm going to wait for main phase 2, because that's game, right? Oh, he just surrenders, okay. It kind of slipped my mind that he had nothing on board, so Teatomasu did nothing. <laughs> but yeah, that was easy. You can't afford to just pass these days. I've made that mistake many, many times. Sometimes the way I open with this deck, I have no choice but to just pass. So just set one pass. As you saw, Magellan pass. Sometimes you'll just get otk like that. This is one of those hands I don't like as much. Is this the same guy? I feel like I've seen... That. I can't remember a name from a minute ago. BA. So he's holding another one? Into Dante. BA are still good, don't get me wrong, but with the tour guide hit, they're a lot more manageable. With this hand though, I technically all I need is a hoop cake, and this hand's amazing. So there's that. That was another graph. Yeah, and what does this one do? You can send us. Okay, so he's playing the good and evil build. You can banish this card from your graveyard and send a burning abyss monster from your hand to the graveyard. Add a burning abyss card from your deck to your hand, okay? It's Garm. Is he going to summon again? He could use good and evil. It is live. I wonder. If... I don't think I've ever seen anyone actually playing the ritual, but playing good and evil just because it's a good card, regardless of whatever. Am I really gonna have to set me a force against Burning Abyss? I'm assuming that's a Wing Blast or a Karma Cut or something. Not a Karma Cut, because it's chainable right now. But Mask Change? Second! I need to set more than one. Because he can value card with Thor Guide. That's what I'm most afraid of right now. So what does this do? Farfa? You can target a monster on the field, banish it until end phase. Okay. 
I can't even. Oh, I can't make length because I can normal this. Um, shoot. I don't have a play. I mean, Fortune Tunes are play technically, but. I'm gonna set three because I don't want my Mirror Force getting out of your card. If I lose Mirror Force, I lose this duel. Unless I draw something. Unless I draw a Medulce monster. Skarm, such as Tour Guide. Yep. I'm just really afraid of the Ayu card at this point. Night Beam on an Instant Fusion. I don't want to lose both my Instant Fusions, though. So. This is gonna be rough. He could very easily make out your card. I'm pretty sure burning up his players run that. No reason they wouldn't. Whatever he summons off that gets popped. Beginning of the end. Man. So Seer. That is Seer, right? I can't read. Yeah, Seer. I can hardly read the card from there. Whatever Seer summons gonna get popped by its own effect, so that's not a problem. Would he go into another Skarm to search on the end phase? And you can. Oh! Well, there goes the Mirror Force. I didn't realize there was a Burning Abyss that did that. Tour Guide will bring out something. Oh man. And if I lose that second instant fusion, I can kiss this game goodbye. Setting both of them may not have been the smartest idea, but... I didn't want to lose the Mirror Force. Okay, he's just making Dante. Why is that coming up? No. No, three. What was that? This card needs enough. One from your hand, okay. So that's 5,074, okay. That's a lot of damage. Um, well, Instant Fusion's dead anyways, because the Mio Force got bounced, so it doesn't matter. I need... I need a... Angeli. Yeah, Angeli would be my best bet right here. Just for the defensive play for a turn. Dark Log really hurts. I really need to get rid of it. Back row? Interesting. I mean, I... All I've seen him play so far is second. Unless it is a Wing Blast. I've seen some BA players go back to playing that. Though I haven't seen BA in the new format, so I can't really talk. The MST, he would have played it. This one doesn't have a discard effect. Or a sent to the graveyard effect. A second mirror force. <laughs> I'm living dangerously now. Living life on the edge. Bernie Gibbs can't make cowboy, which I'm thankful for. Dante will mill three. Even if I Mirror Force him, he's going to get two cards back due to the Dante's, which is going to hurt. Do they still play Downard? I feel like Downard is still a card they should run. Would have been especially helpful to put on top of this Dante, because if I'm correct, it, that's the one that inflicts piercing damage? Oh yeah, he's playing traps. Fire like Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I don't even want to Mirror Force, because that... I mean, I have to Mia Force. I don't have a choice. But he's gonna get that Fire Lake. He doesn't have the Tuna Grave, right? No. Calicab. Good thing I have two. His best play is Ayu Card, by far. But I'm not sure if he runs that. Yeah. He just has to bounce this, pop this, and that's game.
He should, yeah. He should have no reason to hit the monster. Pop the other Mio, or bounce the Mio Force. And let's game. I just opened completely terrible that round. Nothing I could have done. Maybe I could have made Bolch in Tune, but that wasn't going to save me. I need to... I don't want to put upstarts in this deck. I don't want to cut the Nova of Traps either. It's just an inconsistent deck at times. I don't know, maybe I'm just bad, huh? <laughs> I don't know, just this deck in general bricks so often. Maybe I should go back to playing Biofest. Let's get. Let's at least get another two one, All right? No, uh, ten fifty. Let's go two and one again. Maybe I'll play five fist after this. Maybe I'll take suggestions. I don't even see who I'm facing. I swear if it's the same guy. No, it's eight ninety eight. Wasn't that this? Was that the first guy? I don't even. I'm sorry. I don't know. Why am I so bad with names? First turn, Hoop Cake, Zolardo Ticket is a very nice play, especially with two real traps. Pulls at one is necessary. Not necessary, but it just adds extra push. Though if I do end up dropping a card, it'll be Palooza, I think. Though half the time I'm switching it off Gelato anyways, that's why I cut it to one instead of running two. Not sure yet, though. I'm never sure. I never know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna hold the Palooza, no reason to set it. Except just bait, but... Don't need to do that. Super Heavy Samurai. This deck's annoying. When a card effect activates that targets a Super Heavy Samurai, you can banish this card and negate the effect, and if you do, destroy that card. That's really good. It is, you can target so someone in defense position. Is that really a good play? No! I'm trying to click and I just... Was that worth it? Unless he's gonna summon something else, like a tuner. I think that yeah, the tuner special summons itself. They have a, they don't have a five. Do they even? They might have a five. I don't keep track. I know they have a six. Let's see if this works. That did work, alright, so... If I survive, I win. Because I have this in the striker. It's really that simple. We're this in the TG striker, but they don't play traps or anything, so... Speak of the devil... That's actually really good. That just makes the whole thing even better because I can put a monster in the grave without using Hoot Cake. So I'm gonna make Nichiri a beast. I'm sure this deck doesn't play many spells because of the effects of the Samurais. But Nichiri Beast is an all around amazing card. Bring out the cat. Going to Livia. No. No. Cut it. I I click and it asked me. I oh, said, so "You want to activate this? If I wanted to activate it, I would have clicked on it." I'm just gonna use this effect to put more things in the grave. Bottom I actually don't really want to draw one at this point. Make Tiaramisu. Let's put these back in the deck, and I'll switch an Angeli off the ticket. Or, no, I'm gonna special the other Gelato. 
Hold on, I shuffle back. I just shuffle one back, so I'm just gonna summon a gelato. Bam. That's it. Pretty sure this game. I should really learn the numbers by this point, considering how much I've been playing this deck. 44. No, that's not it. It's barely off. That's why Chateau is so good, but I couldn't. Couldn't get it off easily. I could have summoned this Shalot off the cake, but then I didn't have a middle check card in Grave for Kyotamasu. So. But that turned out well, I think. What's this do? Really? Oh! Hello! How are you? Um... It gains 1,200 defense. He... 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 Uh, you... Neither of these stop Chiaramasu, do they? The... Correct, none of, neither of those... do anything. Just spin that back anyways. Huh. Should I spin that back? No. There was... Hitting the Chiria Beast was a really weird play. Teatomarsu was obviously the better target there. So that was weird. Anyways, thank you all for watching as always. 1080. <laughs> and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care and bye bye